Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? So today we are going to finally play with the Primal Flow paint. I cannot wait. I was holding back all day yesterday. It was a busy day. So um, I couldn't really play with it um, at all yesterday. So this is really my first impressions. I uh, poured the paint, um, I got it all prepared, I see, I even have my gloves on already, uh, that's how excited I am, um, I uh, prepared the paint already, and so today we're just doing three colors, we are going to do a straight pour just to test it, um, I did use the medium. Um, you know, I want to be honest with you, I didn't read the directions, which is stupid, but, um, you know, because the um, pouring masters, you had to use their uh, medium, and but this paint is pretty fluid. I'm going to be honest with you, it's pretty fluid. I did not use a lot of medium at all. I basically put enough to cover the bottom of the cup. That was it, and this paint was fluid. It was really nice. Um, and I did not see any bubbles in it whatsoever when I was pouring it. So we are using the Primal Flow um, pouring medium today. And I wanted to try, it's called, uh, like I said yesterday, I'll link the video right here of the unboxing I did, the Celastic Oil Additive. And like a dummy, when I put the oil in, I didn't have this cap. I totally forgot about the cap. I had the other cap in. So I poured too much in, okay? But we'll see what happens. So now I have this cap on. Next time, you know, I can control it better. Because so I was about to say to you, a lot comes out. I'm like, no, it's my fault. I put too much in, okay? So before we get started... I just wanted to show you very quickly. All right, so basically, sorry, let me get, let me finish this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so we're doing titanium white. We are doing the glam red. And this is the silver fox. I wanted to try their metallics. So those are the three colors we're using. We're using the medium and the celastic um, oil, okay? And we're gonna do a straight pour on an eight by 10 canvas. All right, so let me quickly show you what happened. This is my um, last video of the year of 2019. This is my swipe take technique with the pouring masters. Now I was talking with another channel and she was having issues too. Uh, and she was also wondering, it was very weird, her, um, the channel was Smart Art Materials. And the pouring medium that comes with this is by, I told you, it was U.S. Art Supply. So I assumed that U.S. Art Supply owns Pouring Masters. That's what I assumed, but I don't know. I really don't know. But, you know, um, this... I told you this paint creates a lot of bubbles, but I don't know if it's the medium or the paint. So I am, I think I said yesterday in my, the end of my video, that I am going to try to, um, I'm going to try the Pouring Masters paint with at least two different mediums. I'm going to say three different mediums and see if it's the paint or the medium. I have a feeling it's the medium. I've seen U.S. Art Supply, uh, the pouring medium on uh, uh, Amazon, and it was really cheap, like inexpensive, so I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's good, blah, 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 so I don't know. But anyway, well, well, that's what I'm going to do in the next few videos. I'm going to go back and forth with the Primal Flow and with the Pouring Masters. I want to test the Pouring Masters out um, with different mediums, okay? So this dried pretty good. Okay, there were no bubbles. I like I said, I torched the hell out of it. This was my swipe technique with the cardboard. Um, yeah, so I did not use silicone in this painting. Okay, so it did dry much, much better, much better. Um, nice and glossy, which is cool. 
but there was still, you know, a lot of bubbles. So, um, but I really t had to really torch it. And I actually prepared the paints the night before, let them sit overnight. And um, what I did was I did not stir it again, which I usually do. If I prepare my paints the night before, I will stir them again before I pour because it's settled overnight and then I'll let them sit for a couple of minutes and then I'll do the painting. I took a risk and did not um, stir them and it still had bubbles so it's kind of weird but yeah so this dried you know pretty good no bubbles no cracks but it was a lot of work meaning you know a lot of uh, finagling to um, not have bubbles a lot of torching so I just want to test it to see if um, yeah if it's the paint or the pouring medium okay so that's how that dried I really like it I'm happy with it and it's nice and glossy and yeah I'm happy with it okay so let's get started with this pour and I will be back in a minute
guys, I'm back. So, wow, that is crazy amount of cells. That is, I haven't seen cells like this in months. So I am, my first impressions of this paint is I absolutely love it. I mean, I've said this about other paints. And then as I, like the pouring masters now, I do love the colors and stuff. I'm not putting the paint down whatsoever. I'm feeling in my gut that it's the pouring medium. Um, I still love the Artist Loft. I love Arteza. Um, but this is, first of all, the paint, when I, when I uh, mixed it, it had no bubbles whatsoever. It was so easy to use. Um, it flowed beautifully. And this stuff right here, this Celtastic, uh, yeah, they're not kidding. It's almost like it has too many cells. So this is insane. It is literally like an explosion. And I hit the torch again um, off camera just to make sure. And this is what came up. Even more cells. It's insane. This is amazing. I love this. Um, again, if you don't want this many cells, just because I told you I messed up, I didn't have the proper um, cap on, so I poured too much. So basically, you know, if this is too many cells for you, just use less uh, silicone. Um, I'll probably get to try this, well, definitely gonna try the paint again, obviously, but uh, maybe without silicone and see, just like with the medium and the paint, what it does. But this, I love it. This is so much fun. It's like, I don't know, for some reason reminds me of the 1980s, like Paisley or something. Um, but yeah, so I think I am definitely going to try this at their subscription box. Um, uh, yeah, I hope I don't have to pay shipping every month, but you know, we will see. Um, I don't remember what uh, how big the kit is, how many paints you get in, uh, but I know you do get um, other things as well as those cute little um, wood pieces. They throw in other cute little things in there as well. So $30 a month I don't think is a horrible price to pay. So I think I'm going to try it. And um, I am coming up pretty quickly on 300 subscribers. And I said at my 300 that I'm going to do another giveaway. And now, after trying this, I have an idea. So I'm going to keep that a secret um, until I hit 300. But I just want to let you guys know I have a really, really nice giveaway. I just came up with the idea last night. But I need to try this first. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this, guys. I really, really love this paint. I cannot wait now to try other colors. Um, yeah, I can't wait now because these are not enough colors for me. You know, the red, the yellow, and the blue, uh, silver, white, and black. I need more. So I love this. I think this came out great. It's so many cells. It's nuts. All right. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.